New documents obtained by Fox 4 reveal a lot more about the alleged fraud and corruption and the federal investigation of that allegation at Garland ISD. We broke this story back in February, and tonight we have the whistleblower emails that should have started the investigation into the teacher visa program a whole lot sooner. Richard Ray is in with this update that you will see only on Fox 4. Rich. Steve, caught up in the investigation is a longtime and beloved Garland administrator accused by the school district now of ignoring clear signs that there could be fraud and corruption in that visa program that recruited foreign teachers. A February protest in Garland. Educators, some with bags over their heads, claiming they feared retaliation from a new superintendent. A banner reading, support Dr. Gary Reeves, fire Superintendent Bob Morrison. Morrison had suspended Reeves and two others over a federal investigation of GISD's H-1B visa program that recruited hundreds of foreign teachers. Reeves' daughter-in-law defended him. He has not done or known of anything that's going on. But last week, the school district went public. Money was being made and privileges were being enjoyed by many people. With the scope of the alleged corruption and fraud involving foreign teachers who were financially victimized and could end up deported instead of getting the permanent residency they thought they'd been promised. Human Resources Director Victor Laos was portrayed as the heart of the money-making scheme, and his boss, Reeves, as a man who turned a blind eye to it. Key to that allegation is a whistleblower email sent anonymously in January 2013 to then acting superintendent Gary Reeves, laying out all the elements of what was going on. Laos recruiting trips to places like the Philippines, where he gave orientation training to prospective teachers with a fee. That after they were brought to Texas, they were required to rent the house of Laos' stepson and given the option to choose only the two immigration lawyers appointed by Laos. Dr. Reeves gave that email to Mr. Laos to fix. That's a lie. I didn't send it back to Mr. Laos. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't even, I can't even tell you that. Reeves has declined further comment. The school's attorney says Reeves and Laos differed on some of what they told him, but on the handling of that whistleblower email, they agreed. When I asked them separately, what was Dr. Gary Reeves' response? Both of them say, Dr. Gary Reeves said, Victor, get with this guy, fix it, meaning the person who wrote the email. Another email sent days later from one of the immigration attorneys Laos partnered with to Laos reads in part, I understand the interim superintendent's fears for a possible investigation that might smear your good name. I salute him for protecting your interest and good name. Victor Leo says that Gary Reeves never required him to make reports or file budgets or explain the scale and scope, but he clearly says that Dr. Gary Reeves understood what he was doing. Harry Jones says Reeves defended himself by saying he couldn't know everything everyone under him was doing. He told me. I knew something was fishy with this, uh, but he did not reach into it and stop it. Now, why he didn't do that is something that we'd still like to know. Everything the school's investigation uncovered was turned over to federal officials. Homeland Security has created a task force that includes the Departments of Labor and Education. It was also turned over to Garland Police and Texas Rangers. I'm told the federal task force could have something on the U.S. Attorney's desk in a matter of weeks, Steve, maybe even days. All right, Richard, what do we know about the, uh, the whistleblower? I mean, do we even know if this, the letter writer is still around? Well, the short answer is we don't know, but everyone I've spoken to is fairly certain it was written by a teacher either currently in the H-1B program or one that had been. Mm -hmm. Harry Jones told me that both Gary Reeves and Victor Leos think they know who sent it, but they offer different names to him. Just from the level of knowledge about how it all worked, it's a pretty safe guess, I think, that it was one of the foreign teachers fed up with what was going on. Okay, Richard Ray, good reporting. Thank you.